Hello everybody, sorry for the camera but this is just easy for me to work with. Um, one of the biggest questions that I get is, or, and that I hear is, why does my wideband input not match what the meter is showing? So I thought I'd just do a quick video showing the way that I calculate and it's fairly easy. Um, calculate your input to what it's supposed to be. So first thing that I do is get your um, formula put into your ADX file. So I use a program called Graph. Um, I'll link it in down below. Um, so once you've got Graph installed, it's free download. You'll get this screen up. You can hit F4. It'll bring a screen up. Basically, you got your X and Y column. Um, so, say in the X column, you can fill in your uh, count level. So, say on uh, pin B10 on the enhanced mod on a VS ECU, it'll be 0 to 255 counts for 0 to 5 volt input. So you put 0 to 255 and then say if you're using the default which is probably um, 10 AFR for 0 volts and 20 AFR for 5 volts you put 10, 10 to 20 in the Y and then you hit OK now when you roll out this will give you a dot marker next Next uh, thing that you'll need to do is hit the graph line, insert a curve, and of course it'll be a linear line. You hit OK. And this will give you just a weird plot, really, which is your linear line. But the thing that you want to get is go up to your corner up here. Get focus. right click on the bottom one which is your line and hit edit and this will basically give you your equation to the dot if you want to get accurate your linear equation to match and that's that's all you got to do so you don't have to muck around with trying to get it to match up um, so now I'll just switch to the laptop which I've already done mine on. Bring it to here. So, just to show you how to check it, that it's actually giving you what you're asking, or what do the wideband, um, what your wideband kit is feeding in, what you can do is overlay the two. So, if you edit your ADX file let's my mouse go up to here yep that's fine so in your values you'll normally have your pin B10 or the other pin using that um, wideband value so it's package is number 48 what you can do is insert add a new item call it wideband raw call it 48 as well and your conversion will just be X so that means that it'll give you the 0 to 255 output so you want to set your range on there as well from 0 to 255 then you set your wideband up obviously so you use the conversion that you got from the graph program and put that in there and you obviously set your range up so for mine you know, I've got 11 to 17 so then you can go back to your graph put the two on the one graph um, 
when you do it if it is actually linearly accurate and the calculation is right the raw because your top and bottom range are identical it's just a different conversion 0 to 255 or 11 to 17 AFR it should be plotted linearly accurate onto your line which means then your input from 0 to 5 volt or 0 to 255 will exactly tell you 11 to 17 AFR um, now I've found that these 14.7 to 1 kits dead on everywhere for me um, I also use a 10k resistor on the, on the line um, some of the other kits I haven't found as accurate but yeah anyway hope this helps you make your wideband meter input accurate and gives you the same reading as the gauge obviously if now that you've matched these up and your gauge is still reading different than what Tuner Pro is telling you then the output from you from your gauge isn't actually what you think it is so you need to use whatever program or configuration program that comes with your wideband kit to actually check that or set it to the range that you want um, and if you get stuck the other tip you can do is say on a morning when your car is cold use that raw function so whoop, come down here take off your wideband just leave your raw so say cold in the morning which this one isn't but anyway it'll be down the bottom somewhere so um, full lean it'll be whatever count which will be your highest so 13 for, uh, sorry it'll be up the top being lean, be near 5 volt, so it might be say 245 for 17 AFR on mine, then you know that's your top, go for a drive, hit deacceleration fuel cup or something like that, and then you'll get down the bottom and find your leanest point and that'll give you a bit more of a working range to go with, feed that into the graph program and replot both over the top and see how accurate you become again and see whether everything matches up from top to bottom okay, see yous <laughs>